Hi there guys, just wanted to do a quick video and share another couple of thoughts with you that have been on my mind recently. We're just coming out of, of, of March now, we've had a lot of deaths so far this early in the year which is unfortunate. It does make you reflect on your mortality and, 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 and what you want to achieve and how precious life is. The reason, I, I, the reason I'm talking to you this time is because uh, I thought it'd be worth sharing something that's a little bit more personal than usual. Unfortunately, I lost a family member in very early January, first week of January. Married another family friend in, in, in February and my grandfather actually passed. Um, I learned of his passing last week uh, in, in March and it's really difficult to deal with I guess so many in such a short um in such a short span of time one a month isn't easy um but it, it's made me reflect I guess the, the purpose of this video is really sort of a reminder uh to myself and and to anyone else who could maybe find it useful is that it's really easy to get bogged down with, with the negative emotion and to get bogged down in the sorrow in the mourning and the the grief and the loss um and to get and to feel despair um and it makes me sort of try and stiffen my resolve in um in trying to stay grateful to be honest when this year started i thought to myself yo this is going to be a really challenging year i've got a lot i want to accomplish i've got a lot i want to do and i still wanted to be grateful but when you're really down and you know you you, you you're you're feeling really negative it's easy to focus on three people who have just died it's, it's it's it sucks and it really does suck it's it's, it's 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 not pleasant at all but for me personally i'm trying to keep in mind think about all the years that have gone by where someone where you haven't got a phone call that someone has died so i'm just trying to sort of share this keeping a balanced view of things keeping a balanced view and trying to be grateful and trying to keep things in perspective and compartmentalize the negativity so it doesn't have to so it doesn't reach any farther or last any longer than it really needs to it does get better and you do sort of start um rising to the top after you sink down low and i suppose the thing that I, i'm taking away from all this is that you've got to try and learn you've got to really keep in mind how important it is to be grateful and be grateful for that person's life and be grateful for the experiences and the memories you have of that person and and of those people and just be grateful for that if nothing else one of the things that i wanted to accomplish this year was trying to be more proactive in focusing on the positive and being grateful and you know i can be one of those people who can um, always fo focus, you know, who are very, is very quick to focus on the negative and decry things and all the rest of it. And I want to balance myself off um, a little bit more this year. But that's basically just all I, I wanted to share. Hopefully I've shared something that one of you guys could uh, find useful. And uh, we'll talk again soon.